morning to all so in the previous class we learned about the introduction to the voltage source inverter in that class we you know that the voltage source inverter classified brought into two categories voltage source inverter and current source inverter which are further a single phase and a uh, three phase inverter in the single phase we have learned about the half phase inverter and the full wave bridge inverter and half phase inverter we know that this uh, that it consists of two two power diodes two power diodes or two power transistor or two power mosfets or two power bgt like this here in this power mosfet has been used and it is for rf circuit and two equal values of the capacitor so that the value of uh, input dc voltage is split to two equal part that is vd by 2 and vd by 2 we all gone through about this and we learned that after when we go through the operation when t1 is operating t2 is on and t2 is operating t1 is on and all thing we know that the output voltage is swing between the rail to rail voltages plus vd by 2 to minus vd by 2 and this uh, diode is uh, diode diode was a protection circuit which is used to remove the excess current whenever the transistor is off okay when transistor t2 is off then it will remove the t2 current when transistor t1 is off it will remove the excess current through the t1 so that is what about the this then we go through the this rms load voltage value uh, and then rms output voltage value and total harmonic distribution these are the formula direct formula here and, here and then we solve this numerical in the previous class then we learned about the this full wave full wave uh, inverter which is this consists of two half wave inverters so it has uh, four power devices instead of using two it has four power devices in this case we have used the power mosfet t1 t2 t3 t4 are the power mosfet d1 d2 d3 d4 are the production circuit okay next uh, these were the waveform in this we know that the output in this between the plus vd to minus vd to and when t1 and t2 is operating it's, it's a brisk configuration so when whenever the t1 and t2 were operating that t3 and t4 were off and when t3 and t4 were operating t1 and t2 were off so that is how we get the output waveform output swing is plus vd by 2 to minus vd by 2 and whenever this this is off transistor t1 and t2 is off then d1 and d2 is removed the excess current and whenever transistor this c3 and t4 is off, t4 off then this will remove d3 and d4 will remove the excess current that is how we get the output waveform for the full wave inverter so when we get the rms output voltage we put this uh, value with this vd then we get the output voltage equals to vd and get the fundamental rms output voltage is 0 0.9 times of vd so in today's class we will discuss about the analysis of the square wave center tap push pull inverter with rl load so it's a center tap as the name indicates just like the just i just reuse in the case of half wave it's a center tap, center tab uh, inverter. So in this inverter, a positive terminal of the DC source is connected to the center tab of two winding transformer. In this, we will use a transformer. This this part is transformer. This is a primary winding. This is a secondary winding. And turn ratio is n1 to n2. So your output voltage is always a function of the turn ratio. So output voltage is uh, output voltage v out is equal to 10 to upon n1 multiplied by this VD. It will be the Simple formula we have done already in school. Okay, there are there were two power devices in this use we have used the power mos power BGT. Okay, the base current base current will be provided. This is D1 and D2 again the circuits uh, uh, diodes and L R R L R L is the inductive and resistive load we have used in this configuration. The load current going in the load. So the end of the two primary winding for the So these were the waveform, these are these are the output waveform. So 
very easy that output waveform is given by for the positive half cycle the output waveform is given by term ratio multiplied by vd in the positive half cycle and the for the negative half cycle it is given by the term ratio into vd in with a negative symbol so according by the switch t1 and t2 is on by the n2 by n by the term ratio between the each half of the primary and the secondary winding the load current il is determined by the v out and the load impedance as in the previous section for inductive load the secondary current will remain negative for y while t1 has been switched on before becoming positive when it flows through the switch t1 until then there is referred primary current flow through the d1 so whenever this diode t1 is off this diode d1 is acting and providing the this current back to the source and when this one is off this is providing the path to the current back to the source which is supplied okay that is what is written over here so this is what the working of this simple push pull configuration of the inverter square wave output we in the output and we are getting a square wave that is on what we know is then the other another important part of the inverter is three phase inverter so three phase inverters converts a dc signal into a three phase ac output so it's a three phase ac output. we are getting a three phase ac we should do one phase you see in three it is three arms are normally delayed by an angle of 120 degree as the three phase ac signal the inverter switches each has a ratio of 50 percent of the switching occurs after every t by six cycle of the time and 60 degree the switch s1 and s4 and the switches s1 s4 switches s2 s5 switches s3 s3 complement each other what it say that this is the basic diagram here very easy to understand that here is the supply voltage okay this is your capacitor this is node p this is node n very important this is point n okay these are the six switches and each switch consists of a power bjt and one diode is connected in parallel with the diode for the present diode provide the current back to the source so this s1 s1 s3 s5 s4 s6 s2 this will work like this s1 delta 1 period s1 this will work together and 4 So this part this delta network is connected to this switching network so by the mode of the operation the mode Phase AC output. So the figure shows that the circuit of a three phase inverter is nothing but a three single phase inverter with a same DC source. The pole voltage of three inverters are equal to the pole voltage of a single phase. We will learn about this. So there are two types of inverters above two modes of the conduction. One is a 180 degree mode of the conduction, and another is a 120 degree mode of the conduction. What is 180 degree mode of the conduction? So in 180 degree mode of the conduction, each each thyristor will operate this thyristor or your whatever your power device is will operate in 180 degree 180 degree okay and for 120 degree mode of conduction the thyristor will operate for 120 degree okay so in this mode for 180 degree in this mode every device in the conduction is straight for 180 degree when where they are switch on at 60 degree interval okay because there are there there will be a delta configuration i told you earlier okay so I told you this S4, SW1, SW5, SW6 will operate over there. So for one degree of mode of conversion, each of these working in 60 degree. Okay, 60, 60, 60. Then it will provide a 180 degree mode of conduction. Now terminal A, B, C are the output terminal of the bridge. The So, the 
down below for zero to sixty degree as long as five axis are in collection mode for the gold value. For zero to sixty degree as long as five axis are in collection mode, then the A and C of the lower are connected to the more positive point. So then the B can be connected to the more negative point. So this is 160 degree mode of operation then 180 120 degree mode of operation in this mode of the conduction the electronic device in this conductor state for the 120 degree it's more suitable for a delta connection in a load because it results in six step type of the waveform across any of this way therefore any instant only two devices are conducting because each device conducts only for the 180 degree 120 degree so in this the phase voltage is equal to the when we calculate all this then we will get the phase voltage equals to the line voltage v is equal to v v c is equal to minus v by 2 v c is equal to minus v by 2 so this 180 and 120 degree mode of conduction we, in tomorrow class we will understand in depth the working of this 180 degree and 120 degree mode of conduction the output waveform how we get the output waveform because in the university exam it is mostly the output waveform where are then how we get the output waveform for 180 degree and 120 degree mode of the collection so in tomorrow class we will discuss about this so that's all for today thank you